What is up, scent heads, smell beasts, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and this is Oh So Fresh. What is good, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. If you are brand new here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love, and I hope you love them too. If you would, give me a huge thumbs up. Really means a lot. If you like what you see, if you learned something, subscribe down below. Hit the little notification icon, the little bell, whatever, ding, ding, thing down there, all that stuff. Because I'd really like to share my reviews and my life and all that stuff with you. Also, leave some notes down in the comments. Tell me your favorite fragrance. Tell me what you think of this current fragrance that I'm wearing today. And that happens to be none other than by the House of Mansara Instant Crush. Today, I have another decant from my homeboy, Michael Dinsmore. This is his. For all that uh, have not heard me talk about him, uh, you know, enough said. He's not a sponsor. He's just a friend of mine that does fire banging decants. Uh, and this one is another one of those that, uh, to me, just looks absolutely gorgeous. It performs very well and it sprays. Like I said, I'm stopping buying a ton of these big, big bottles until that I absolutely love them. And let's see if this one will be one that gets put into my collection as well. Um, also, for Michael Dinsmore, as always, his channel, Making Sense, will be down below. So hit him up, check his channel. He does cool reviews as well of fragrances and, like I said, fire decants. All right, so the actual fragrance itself, Instant Crush, I'm going to be 100 with you guys. From the very first time I smelled it, I sp sprayed it, I actually didn't like it uh, for a minute. I let it let it sit for a little bit and I said, let me give it a chance. But what I did notice is in the dry down, it does bear a very striking resemblance to another fragrance. And I don't know if people have said this, maybe they have, but it bears a, a resemblance to Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Mustard or Kirkpatrick, Mason Francis Kirk. I'm just going to call it MFK. I think everybody else does anyway. But MFK's uh, Baccarat Rue 540, it is not a clone of it, but it does have that same vein, that same feel to it. So I think it could be very mass appealing. This one also lasting a long time as well. But I just want to be very, very clear. This is not a clone. Well, it is a cologne, but it's not a clone of that. You know, it's, it just has a, a similar vein. So when people tend to mention this, you know, oh, it smells like this. I think they get a certain note or a certain uh, je ne sais quoi from it, and they blend those two together, and automatically people uh, say clone, clone, clone. Like, if anything has pineapple in it, they tend to scream Aventus from the mountaintops and say it's a clone. You're trying to be uh, like Aventus, you know, which is not the case in this. It is its own fragrance, but it does have a similarity the way that it dries down to MFK Baccarat Rue 540. Now let's get directly into, I'm going to put it on some paper here. I have a different fragrance that I'm wearing, so I'm not going to make them clash, but let's grab this beautiful decant and completely saturate this as it always does. <laughs> Every time it, it, uh, it gets me how good this sprayer is on this thing. Okay, so the opening is citrus right away, probably a bergamot and orange. And then as it dries down very quickly and as that alcohol burns off, uh, ginger and saffron to my nose. And it does dry very quickly. And then immediately, you know, that saffron tends to be the main clinger here. It stays through the whole entire fragrance. But being as Mansara as they are, they do change and they start transforming into something completely different while staying the same, if that makes any sense. As it does start to mellow down, like I said, that citrus goes away, saffron stays there, and then, you know, you start getting a little bit of a woody note, but you're also picking up on a very light uh, rose and jasmine in there, not overly feminine, but, you know, as probably people have said before, this could be war by a woman when it has some of these similarities, just like MFK's Baccarat Rufi 40. Um, you could definitely see a woman wearing this. 
But like I said, the floral note is uh, very, very toned down due to the saffron and the other notes that come into play a little bit later. So it keeps it tame. You can assure uh, that Montal, when he did his fragrances, you know, he, he knew what he was doing. He, uh, right now, especially his houses are doing a fantastic job. They're making absolute bangers. And this one, you know, now that I've had a chance to get my nose on it, let it sit, get adjusted to it. It is a good fragrance. And then I, like I said, I have wore this, um, multiple times just to get a full test. So you can't get a full dry down off of this. And as I've said before, you have to wear these fragrances. Don't just go off of a card like this. So as it does dry down, you get a beautiful vanilla. So it's, it's down there deep, deep into the base, a beautiful vanilla. You get a nice woody note. I think uh, sandalwood probably is in that. And of course, Amber, uh, this one happens to be a much, much nicer Amber than my brother's ex-girlfriend who tried to destroy our family and tear us apart. But I digress. Overall, I find this a very, very gorgeous fragrance, um, especially when it comes in these decants and I don't have to spend uh, the 120 right off the bat. But speaking of that, will I purchase another bottle of this or an actual full size bottle? Yes, I will. I think this is a very nice fragrance. I, I like the bottles themselves, but it, uh, it is definitely a standalone. So it doesn't need to replace your Baccarat Rue 540, you know, depending on if people are loyal to one house or the other. This one stands alone. Like I said, it does have similar cord, has a little vibe to it that's very similar. But if two people were wearing Baccarat Rue 540 and Instant Crush, I think you would definitely be able to tell whose was what. But this can kind of help folks out that do love Baccarat Rue 540. I think this one is going to be right in your wheelhouse. You're not going to be disappointed by it. You know, you get that same love. This one lasts <laughs> forever. Actually, I wore this and like his, his do really well. Montal and Mancera, they do really well, just like some other houses do. But the Eau de Parfum that he uses, uh, they last and they cling. This one I almost had to scrub off, uh, especially with clothing. I had my wife wash it. She had to double wash some things with this one due to how strong it is, at least on me. This one as a skin scent probably lasted well over 12 hours. Uh, projection. She was wearing another fragrance uh, and women's tend to be a lot stronger than men. And mine was pushing through and she was commenting how strong it was uh, for the first few hours, probably two to three hours. It had a very, very good projection. See, I just, I'm running around, you know, the house and out doing stuff. I got stopped by a couple people that asked what I was wearing because it is uh, quite a strong fragrance in a good way, I think, because you want this. So I, I went and this could be due to some of his, but spraying this stuff, you know, I think I hit three sprays, which is way too much with this type of hose that he uses. Uh, you know, he's using a freaking fire hose. So see that just uh, filled this entire room up, but go light on it, test it first. And if you're like me and you got the first little nutty almondy, and there's no almond notes in here, but I think that's to do with the saffron mixed with the wood. Now it's, it's on my arm now, but it, it it turned me off for a second. Give it a second smell before you toss this one away. And then you're, you're going to love it because I do. So yes, I will be buying a full bottle of this, uh, even though these are very handy, not that you need to reapply this thing, but it is, it is nice to have. So that's all I have today for this fragrance. If you've made it to the end, I thank you so much. And as always, I love you guys to the bottom of my heart until my next review, be blessed and stay fresh.